So I came down here to check out this next portion of the quest, and uh, Razan is here. <laughs> I guess it looks like we are gathering everyone here. Look at this. Gonk is here. Paku is here. We are basically gathering all we have to take on Zul. You stand before King Rastakan. When hunting one who has foreseen the future, it is best to proceed with a measure of caution. Rezan, grant you strength. Zul began a coup, but he did not secure the pyramid for himself. Nor has he done anything to rally more to his banner outside of those who were already conspiring with him. This concerns me more than if he had carved his face into Dazar Law itself. We must learn what he is up to. Join the disciples of Gonk and ride ahead to the Temple of the Prophet. Look toward Druid Loti for further orders when you arrive. Ride with Gonk. Zandala forever. Come, hero. For this, <laughs> you will want to hold on tight. Brothers and sisters of Zandala, the time has come to cut off the heads of these traitors who have sworn themselves to Zul. Gonk, lower of the hands, lead your followers to the temple of the prophet and slay any foes you find. Flash our enemies out into the open. Paku, lower of the winds. Take to the skies and seek out the heretics. Divine their goals and meet us at the temple. Rezan! <laughs> Let's go hunting. For Zandala! For Zandala! Just go right through one of those Brutosaurus. Just go right through them. So if you hadn't discovered the flight path before, this is basically the quest that takes you straight to it. Yeah, I think I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do some of these off-camera instead. They're kind of cool, but nothing too relevant. So there's the uh, flight, flight master right there. What brings you before the Lord of the Hunt? Blood calls out for blood. Descend on Zul's fanatics and Mogu allies. Hunt them down and slay them all with the fury of a true predator. Show them the true price of their betrayal. May your enemies never smell you come. I serve Gonk, master of shapes. That snake of a prophet, Zul. I never trusted him. Always felt like he was never telling us the whole prophecy. Enter the temple of this prophet and see if he recorded any of his visions. We must learn of what our prey intends before our real hunt may begin. Never tame the beast inside you. Alright. Ruin rot. Oh, looks like she gets to join me there. Alright. Alright, well, if we're going through taking on mobs, let's get my boys out. It's too far away. Him. I got him. All right, now we can take 
these things out. I have 10% per. That's good. Zul. Followers, hear me. If our King Rastakhan be of no use, and his god Razan be of no use, then it falls to us to replace them. High atop Mount Mugamba be an ancient city, Altaldazar, the sacred resting place of dead kings. There we shall find a true king, Dazar. With the power I wield, we shall return to Zar to his seat of glory as King of Zandala. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oh, hold on. Chest right there. Hey! There it is, there's the next one. Really? You're gonna give your life for Zul? Really? I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I know he's a prophet and all, but still. Followers, hear me. When I journeyed to Pandaria, we attempted to an ancient and forbidden ritual. We awakened Le Shen, the Thunder King of the Mogu. He had been dead for many ages. In doing so, I learned the ancient ways to return an ancient king to life, and learned how to control them. Yeah, this is bad. Very, very bad. It's too far away. I wonder what uh, some of the Pandarans would react if we told them that they showed up here. After what happened back in Pandaria, like what we just read. Right, there's the third word. Uh, I'm going to have to deal with, a with perhaps a number of these guys here. Oh, there's one. Pop this 
this elemental I may as well have him fight this one too so I don't waste it that much let's go ahead and wipe this one as well and then we'll leave it. hopefully that'll be a clear enough path. Now what's this last word here? Followers, hear me. I have journeyed far in these last few years and have learned much. I witnessed the Drakari, proud empire of the north, fall to the might of the undead scourge. As they fell, they consumed their gods in near-forgotten rituals, stealing untold amounts of power to be used for their own purposes. Well, yeah. I'm sure even Zul can understand and recognize the power of the Lich King and the Scourge and the kind of threat they actually do. Oh, the Loa be strong here. Zul has fallen so low as to wish to raise the Tsar himself? Can Zul even be called a Zandalari anymore? Walk on the well side. Ooh, I'm now honored with the Zandalari Empire. Excellent. Progress. Lordy, what took you so long? I will stab you with your own tusks. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> Promises, <our> <laughs> promises. Greetings, Bakura I. <laughs> can you tell these two are married? With the sky clear of Ballista Fire, Paku can stop doing what she loves, dropping those who cross her from a really great height. Rizana and Rastakhan did not wait for us. They are marching up the mountain to Ataldazor, the Tsar, the city of gold. You, Loti, and I need to catch up quick and give them some air support. Hop aboard. Choose your lower. Wisely. There are a lot of Zul's forces between here and Atal Dezar. We need to clear them out. I do enjoy these types of uh, missions here. Just fly around and just drop bombs on enemy forces. Just pow, just insta-kill them. I'm sorry, I just enjoy this. It's nice to be able to just instantly wipe out giant mobs like this from time to time. After the hassles they can give you. Wait, Rall! You missed Rezan and Rastakhan! What? Where? They are nearly to the gates of Atal Dezar. Quick, we must catch up. What the? What is going on here? A Naga Paladin? What? Behold the Naga finally playable. <laughs> Apparently there's a couple players doing a duel, and he has some kind of toy that makes him look like a Naga. Whatever. What is it, child of the Horde? Ah. It's also because there's a meaning stone here, because this is actually a dungeon. Zul thinks to bar me from my domain, I will consume his soul. King's Gambit. Ataldazar is the tomb of kings. My, my kings, my greatest followers. I will taste Zul's flesh before this day is done. Come, keep up. Our prey has neither the strength nor the numbers to block this entrance. Let us crush this heretic. Okay. Never cower before the weak.
Where'd he go? Razan, where'd you go? Whoa! Oh, there's there's Razan. I was like, did you see that? I saw that what looked like Paku picked up a triceratops and just dropped it from the sky. <laughs> uh oh. We're cut off from Razan. Rostakon, what do you want to do? Predator or prey. Rizan has too much of a head start. We will not be able to reach him before he reaches Zul. Well, what now? May your foe... Oh, cutscene. Your visions had best be right about this. Heretic! You trespass upon sacred ground. Ah, he arrives. The lower of... Hmm. What do we call you now? Mind your tongue, traitor. Razan, Razan. Do you not understand? I am not your subject. And you have no place among kings. Oh, this is a trap. Rizan, he, he is gone. That, that thing is not a lower. Yikes. Yeah, if we walk down there, we are dead. He is an elite. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's run? I feel like someone has ripped the very soul from my body. It's time to leave, your highness. We gotta get Retreat. you out of here. Retreat! Live to fight another day. Charge, brothers and sisters! Stop for nothing! <laughs> it is good to be the king. He... He's gone. I'll sell that. Hey! March of the Loa, the throne of Zuldazar, and Lore Master of Zandalar. Yeah! Finally got those achievements. With Razan dead, I feel my life weakening. Soon old one Samdi will come calling. We must defeat Zul before then. Taltazar, Yasma the Fallen Priestess. Zul knows that we cannot let the first king rise from his grave. The Tsar would be more than a figurehead for Zul's dream, tro dream troll empire. He would be a force that could rival the very lore. But I cannot just let Zul get away. I and and mine will follow Zul. But I want you and yours to enter Atal Dazar. Yasma is trying to buy time and keep the tomb sealed away. You will need to fight your way through to, to her, and you will need some allies to do so. Slayer, aka go into it and get get some other players and do it do the dungeon. I should have known better. And now Razan is dead and my own power is barely holding on. Soon, Bonsamdi himself will be coming to collect me. Talanji. She must know what has happened here. Go, tell, go to her. Tell her. Aid her where, where you can. I followed a god of strength, and yet I have not the strength to face her with this shame. For now, I must gather our forces and pursue Zul. Speak with Talanji in the world changes. Rezan, grant you strength. Now 
where does this take me? This pathway. Oh! Ah! Okay, apparently that's a, uh... Nope. I don't want to fight one of those right now. Nope. Nope. Yeah, take me to the Flight Master. The Golden Road. So here's where we were before. See, this is what I was talking about. This is the entrance to the dungeon. The only way I was able to get in there is because it was part of the quest. It was a different instance. So <laughs> we've got some people here doing this. I see it's, uh, I think a lot of people come here to do like mythic keystones and such. That's probably what's going on right now. So where's the, the flight master should be like right over, uh, right over there. Okay. So obviously that's the let's go into the dungeon and do do this. And I'm curious about this next part right here. A dark deeds and dark days. What are you looking for? Let's head back to the Great yeah. Seal. To tell Talanji about what happened here. Are. So, of course, as you could imagine, oh, looks like Volkal is going to get rezzed. We're going to get to face Razan and, of course, Yasma. Why is that heroic? Like, as if I'm going to do that on heroic. Nope. I think I had those for some other stuff, but it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm actually going to select going into heroic, right? has another quest for us. Talanji. Oh, there's another quest from that guy over there. Probably because I hit Honored. Times change, and so must the Zandalari. Razan is dead? May your vestments be adorned with the skulls of your enemies. I am Bane, son of Cairn. We just received word that the northern border is under heavy attack by an army of blood trolls. King Rastakhan has called for reinforcements. You are more familiar with that threat than any of us. Go, and do what you can to help them. Honor those who came before us. Alright, let's see what this one is. Do you know who I am? I heard some mutterings about sand and snakes. The plea comes from a tiny village on the very fringes of Zuldazar. Hardly more than a few farms. Dol something, I think it was called. Don't know what they be calling it now. Go see what the fuss is about. Bloodguard Sanji was sent ahead some time ago. She should be able to get you up, up to speed on that, uh, situation. Interesting. Zandala forever. Do you want something? Is there anything I can actually get because we hit honored? Let's see. I can get a appearance of a cloak. The Dinomancer. Revered to get a uh, a 335 feet. There's pretty much almost nothing you can get. This is like the only thing you can get once you hit I honored. You have to make sure you, you get to well. revered or higher to get like anything. No, it's showing this. Oh, hold on a second, hold on. Up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hello. Inscription. They say you have the air of the throne? Far to the south, you will find the bones of an ancient creature. This is Zibala, the progenitor, first of the devil source. She was mother to Rizan, mother to all that came after. 
The Sandalai do not live there, as it belongs to beasts now. I have heard rumors of some of our horde arriving in search of something among her bones. This is ill-advised. Look into it, won't you? Hmm. May the Loa bring you fortune. Akunda brings the lightning. Akunda brings the thunder. The faithless be afraid. The brave be full of wonder. Akunda brings the wind. Akunda brings the rain. Your memories come flooding up. He he will. He his will can ease your pain. One day he hits with all the force. The next day he be kind, much like Akunda's touch. There be great power in his mind. When your courage goes astray, when doubt be in your heart, think of calm before the storm, and Akunda do his part. Kind of a clever little poem there. Well, if you want inscription stuff, here you go, right here in the Great Seal. I'm not really sure what order I'm supposed to do. Oh my gosh, he has the... That is the red scythe that you can get from Mythic Argus in the Antorus Burning Throne Raid. That Now, that is extremely rare to drop, so kudos to this guy for getting that to drop. My goodness. And it's not always going to be the red one. Sometimes it will be the blue one. I was part of a group that did a Mythic run of, An of Antorus, and the blue one dropped. And we were like, why isn't it red? And I was like, well, I guess it's like in, in Nighthold where both mounts could drop. It's not just the Mythic one. So kudos to this guy for getting that. Very nice. I wouldn't mind having one of those. Have to wait and see how that goes, if I can be able to pull that off. Okay, uh, let's see. I got a lot of stuff to do here. Of course, as I said, some of these I'll just go ahead and do off camera, because I'm, I'm pretty sure some of these are not very relevant. Like, obviously, nesting worry is not very relevant. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just more of the same. Go kill some of these wildlife animals for me, will ya? For the thrill of the hunt and happy hunting. And then at the end, we'll find him kind of trapped or dangling, and he'll be like, Oh, thanks for letting me down. This is more so just goblins just doing goblin things, and, well, let's make a profit. And the girl's like, no, no, don't do that here. That's pretty much all that it, that is. Hmm. So I think what we'll probably do next is we'll I'll probably uh, try and get into the Ataldazar dungeon, and we'll finally get to take down uh, Yasma, and we'll get to well, depending on how you look at it, uh, put Razan to rest instead of letting him continue to be used like as a puppet by Zul and such so